the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Celta Vigo against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury and seated in the expert's hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, I've got to go for a man who rarely makes a mistake, Thibaut Courtois. Uh, a great shot stopper, but then again, so are most other keepers. But what sets him apart for me is the way he commands his box. Um, and that he does with supreme authority. OK, interesting. Chance! Has a pop! Nicely worked. They used the 1-2 to great effect in working their way through the middle then. A little more look though and they may have been celebrating. Well that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. Pumps it upfield. So what now? <laughs> so it is still nil-nil. Now it's Aspas. it through now here's the through ball he'll have a dip a potential goal of the season contender if only that's such an impressive run right through the middle and a decent effort on goal to follow perhaps he just didn't quite get the connection he wanted though to get it forward quickly Seferovic uh, ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance steered out wide a long forward pass and it's Seferovic Yago Aspas looks like a good ball through the accusatory stare there tells the whole story yeah I think the referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time interesting half just missing goals so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break nil nil So off we go once more. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? And that's a throw. -in. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. towards the front Seferovic Modric boots it upfield throw it Sergio 
Seferovic. Now it's Aspas. Now the pass. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Modric. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection of what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Talk about singling someone out. Well, he's the spearhead to the attack and they need to blunt his chances. And it's Seferovic. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Aimed long and direct. That's good progress. He's whistle's gone. That's a foul. And he's going to have his name taken. Well, technically that was a beautifully struck shot from so far out and I just thought he was a little unlucky then. Do they stick or twist? Caution or risk? You know, what will they rue more? I think it'd be a cautious mindset they'd regret more for me, so I'd like to see them try and go and win this. Nacho. Modric. The board shows there will be three extra minutes. The final whistle. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil-nil. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim?